mad up in this bitch coming at you. Beer got it. Ten of motherfuckers. So, today, same day as earlier with the Gokuri. Uh, I got a little special uh, treat here from DHL. Uh, just showing that it's uh, still wrapped. Trying to hide the deets though. Um, let me see here. DHL, still wrapped. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up here. Off screen. Somebody catches them deets. I don't know what y'all thinking. I'm armed to the teeth, by the way. If you really want these deets, you can uh, get me in for a world of problems. But, um, just crack this bitch open. See what the fuck is going on in here, because this is a very, very, very special treat. All the way from Andorra. Andorra, A-N-D-O-R-R-A. -R -R Supposedly some type of country. I've never heard of it. Supposedly in between Spain and France. I don't know if this is going to be a, a decapitated head or a severed limb or something because a lot of shit's been going on in France. People getting their heads lopped off in the middle of the street. What's really happening, uh, France? Supposedly it's something to do with um, a cartoon of Muhammad or something. I don't fucking know. Everything's going ridiculous. So I might as well live it up. Live as lavishly as possible. Live as lavishly as possible. It's like a tongue twister. Um, and just get all the things that, you know, I've been dying to get. So this special little treat, which I see the box looks like it's damaged already. I hope it's not. This is one of 400 units available worldwide. I'm one of 400 people in this entire planet that has this. Shout out to the homeboy Isaac Solomon. I see you, my dude. Uh, he also copped one as well. Uh, it looks like a hard case, so that's very nice. Uh, yeah, good. Thanks. I thought it was going to be like a box, like a fucking cardboard box in here. But man, check this motherfucking shit out. Ooh, wee! Shit! Look at this fucking thing. Neo SD Pro for the MVS. Very hard to come by, very expensive. I don't even want to mention how much this shit costs. It's a lot of fucking money. But if you're an avid Neo Geo collector, uh, if you collect for the any of them, arcade, if you collect for the fucking home system, you're going to pay probably about the same for certain cartridges. Meanwhile, uh, this I can have the entire library, the entire CD library, the entire home library, which is the same as the um, arcade one because all they did was just invert some board or something and then that's how they did that shit. But... It's a flash cart. It's a Neo SD Pro. This is better than the original Neo SD. Uh, has, I think, uh, slots that are accessible quicker. Four or five, like, ready, readily accessible slots. You load all the wrong, uh, I mean, all the uh, legitimate copies of the games into the SD card. And then, um, you know, it loads it, reads it, you know. You got every fucking arcade game ever made, every Neo CD game, every fucking thing Neo Geo possible. You're gonna run it, and I actually have a consoleized uh, Neo Geo MVS. Uh, it's like a fuck. I forget the model. It's like the one slotter though. Um, it's, it's the compact one. It's like the one F or something like that. I forget what the hell it was. I'll, I'll when when I open this up and set it all up. I also have another piece coming for that um, Neo Geo consoleized uh, board. It basically enables VGA double line and component. Uh, and I'm going to hook it up to my Frame Meister on my TV and I'll do a demonstration and all that. If you really want to see it, right now this is just the unboxing for this shit because this motherfucker is very hard to find. So the first uh, sale was 200 pieces. They let go of 200 units and then like a week later they sold off the rest of the, uh, the 400 or whatever. So 200 and 200. I just happened to glance and it, I, uh, actually Isaac uh, happened to catch it because I was asking him about it. He found the link somehow. We both ordered the same day and we both got our shit yesterday. And uh, man, this is fucking awesome. So this is cool because, I mean, like look, look at the fucking monstrosity. Like the, the case is badass. You got the little printed sheet here. It's got all the shit in the back, which I'm going to read off in a second here. You'll pause it here if you want. Otherwise, I'm going to just go ahead and ramble off here. Neo SD Pro, the ultimate flash slash RAM cartridge for Neo Geo MVS. Neo SD Pro integrates the best of both memory technologies. Four slots of flash for persistent storage, storing of your favorite games and one RAM slot for instant game loading. Containing a total of 3,840 megabits of memory, 
uh, to play every Neo Geo game, including Hacks and Homebrews. So that means every single thing that ever has been released for the Neo Geo can now be played via this thing, um, this device. Uh, before, I think the original uh, Neo SD non-pro may have had limitations, I think, on the memory size. So like certain Homebrews, which are too big, wouldn't load at all. Uh, this takes care of that and I believe the other one took like three minutes to load like each game or something like that this eliminates that as well um, so it says the same experience as official retail cartridges Neo as the pro simulates every chip present in Neo Geo cartridges playing original unmodified ROM data so you're playing the original hardware on or the original game on the original hardware as intended by the original manufacturers it's not emulation it's not even FPGA or anything like that that I know of I don't believe so anyways um, but it's it's the legit shit, you know. It's like this is you're going to the arcade in the '90s, and now you have every single fucking arcade game ever made for Neo Geo lineup in your hand right here, or in your console, whatever you want to call it. Expands Neo Geo MVS hardware functions, allowing region change, MVS slash AES mode select, jukebox, and many other functions without hardware modification. Uh, compatible with any BIOS. BIOS, including UniBIOS, which I believe I'm running UniBIOS 3.0 or 3.1. I think there's a 4.0 running now. Uh, not too sure what it adds. Um, the BIOS just basically determines like where, what region you're in, that kind of thing, I guess. Uh, if you see blood or not, if you see certain aspects of games. I'm assuming I think that's exactly what it means. Um, not 100%, don't quote me on that. But, um, it's nice to know that it runs that. Like I said, MVS versus AES. So the AES was the American home console or, you know, whatever, the home console. Uh, whereas MVS was a uh, multi-video system or something like that. Where basically, uh, if you go to the arcade, if you remember the Neo Geo games, you, you could have up to four different games. And you select, you know, one of the four games at one arcade machine. Uh, so some had two games, which is a two slot. One was, some were only one. Uh, but the AES was just the home console version of that and they, they all use cartridges big ass cartridges but the uh, For whatever reason they swapped like the boards or inverted them or something so that you can't take the arcade cartridges and put them in a home console and you can't take the uh, You know home console cartridges and play them on an arcade or whatever, but uh I Suppose if you have the games for both you can swip swatch swip swap switch swap between both of them, I'm not sure. Um, and I, I don't know if there's any limitations or, or, or functions that get unlocked between e either mode or not, uh, but I guess, you know, I'll find that out later. Simple, powerful, and intuitive graphic interface, fast menu browsing allows genre filter filtering and the creation of custom favorite lists um, instantly switch between your favorite games. So that's pretty cool too, I guess, you know, playlist uh, thingy with the bottom. It says, uh, unleash uh, Neo Geo's full power, it's flash 768 by 4 megabit, micro SD compatible, that's nice, uh, ARM Cortex M4, because uh, it's got a processor to hand all this nonsense, uh, 768 megabytes of RAM, uh, and it's designed for the MVS. So they do have a, a, a Neo SD Pro AES version that's available, uh, readily available usually. Um, maybe not, I don't know, I'm not sure, but it's also $650, so, um, this one is for the arcade version, and, uh, not sure if you know, but this actually never really, like, officially got released, they, they, the non-pro got released, but, uh, not this one, so, actually, I also have a, uh, multi-cart, which I believe most people who have, oh, that's pretty badass, Terra Onion, little watermark thing on their case, this is a luxury here. Um, uh, most people who collect for, you know, like the arcade hardware, uh, which is easier to collect than probably the actual uh, home console, uh, they probably bought that like yellow 101 cart or 158, 180 games in one or whatever uh, that was on eBay for like the longest time. Uh, that one uh, kind of sucks. It has a bunch of games that are like glitches and copies of games and ROM hacks and all this other shit. Who knows if it fucks up your board or not too because uh, it may be drawing the improper voltage from your device, you know, from your console. Uh, this, I'm assuming, solves all of that. And uh, hopefully, uh, you know, there's going to be no, no issues with that. Uh, as you can see here, it's got some type of micro USB connection. What appears to be a um, three and a half millimeter jack. 
as well as a micro SD card uh, slot. So that's pretty much it for the Neo SD Pro. Uh, like I said, uh, I'll, I'll try it out once I get my uh, Bihar Brothers uh, VGA line doubler thing uh, installed and connected, you know, to my Frame Meister, to my TV. I'll, I'll run a couple examples, run, load a few ROMs on there, see what they look like. Uh, other than that, this thing is pretty legit. It's got the Terra Onion uh, thingy there logo. Uh, it's a lot of, it's a lot of. A lot of hardware, buddy. But uh, that's about it. Terra Onion, I see you. Uh, shout outs to Andorra. <laughs> Hopefully everything is going good in your neighborhood. Um, nobody's decapitating anybody around there. Um, my first purchase directly from Terra Onion. Uh, if you remember, I've had a couple purchases from them indirectly through Stone Age Gamer. Uh, I bought their uh, Mega SD Pro. I think it's just Mega SD. And the uh, Super SD System 3, which was for Turbo Graphics. The Mega SD uh, handles um, anything Sega Genesis. So you could, from that cartridge, it's FPGA, you, you link it up to your Genesis, you could run Sega CD, 32X, uh, every region, you know, whatever you want. It's like an EverDrive, if you know what an EverDrive is, but EverDrives do not handle any CD based shit. Um, Terra Onion solved that problem. Uh, they also did it for the the Turbo Graphics 16, the Pro Duo, all that bullshit that that's connected with a PC engine, whatever. Uh, so I have now I have all three. Maybe they, I don't know if they got more coming out or what, but I do best believe I'm gonna be buying that shit as well. But uh, that's about it. Thank you for watching and deuces.